Have you seen the new Taylor Swift documentary? No, not really, but I'm going to check it out. <laughs> I don't know if Reggie is necessarily the demographic that that documentary is going right, after. Well, well, check this out. I want you to see this. There is no such thing as someone who's bossy. There's just a boss. We don't want to be condemned for being multifaceted. Sorry, that was a real soapbox. No, oh Why did goodness. I say sorry? <laughs> You're just... It's, no, it's because we're trained to say sorry. Yeah, we <laughs> legitimately are. We're like, sorry, was I loud? In my own house that I bought with the songs that I wrote about my own life. <laughs> Ellie from Spread Happy are joining us now. So what's your take on this, Andy? Wow, well, I was blown away. First of all, it's precious. If you haven't seen it, it's precious. And I really, it is. I love and it. And I, you know, I was crying. Yeah, you know of me? course. <laughs> but I really felt from her, she had this tremendous need to please and looking for approval outside of herself. And she just became exhausted from it because yeah. it is exhausting to be worrying about what's going on mm -hmm. out here instead of taking, you know, at, at the result of losing your own self care. That's well, really what was happening. It, it's a no win situation. It's a no win situation. Because it's there insatiable. are always people to please. Yeah. It's, it's insatiable. It's a yeah. total no win situation. And, you know, she, and she even admits it. She was looking for love in all the wrong places. On the wrong places, yeah. yeah. So, um, Lee, I noticed you have a mirror. And, have and so what well, is this about? I actually take this everywhere with me. Because <laughs> you He's just never me. know when his, you, you his might His to-go mirror. One, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, I mean, in the 80s, Louise Hay, I don't know if you've heard of Louise yes. Hay, maybe. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you, you love the documentaries. Mm -hmm. And she came up with this idea of how often we say whether we love ourselves mm. and and when we can actually love ourselves and it sounds so cliche nowadays because mm -hmm. we hear it so often but when we truly love ourselves we're not looking for approval of others we're i know where you're going with this and i think you're about to make roby very uncomfortable oh, well, <laughs> i actually am not going to look in the mirror and say i'm good enough <laughs> No, no, no. Um, and gosh that, darn it, what, people that? like me. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know, and that's, that's the trouble is, you know, I always used to think that. I was, I'm not doing that, you know. And when I used to say, I love you, Lee. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Lee. Every morning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I used to feel so, like, narcissistic. And, yeah, you know, it's right. like, it, it we, feels wrong. We've been taught that it's like, oh, you're going to be so arrogant and so on. But no, the more you love yourself, the more you actually love others, the more yeah. you can actually be there for others. But don't, I mean, does it have to go as far as looking in the mirror and telling yourself you love you? Or can you just really take care of yourself? And when you really take care of yourself, you start to love yourself, right? Well, it's both because the, the downside about taking care of yourself and others is do you actually go within? Yeah. You know, it's so, you, even when you're taking care of others, you're looking outside. Yeah. And the hardest thing that we can do is actually look within. Look within. And I'm waiting for Mr. Roby to... Do it, Roby. Yeah. Just do it. Come on. Come on, Roby. Come on, you can do it, Roby. All right, yes. I'm good enough. No, no, no. I'm smart enough. <laughs> and gosh darn it. I'm not shaving off this beard no matter what you say. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yes, beautiful. all you beard haters. <laughs> yeah. All right, Angie and Lee from Spread Happy. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us this morning. I love it.